Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play the Binding of Isaac Challenge Runs. So on this run we're going to do something a little different again. And I'm just trying to think, before I reveal what we'll be doing, what kind of character do I want to have? You know, honestly I think Judas is the best character for this one. So, this run, for lack of a better word, I'm going to call it the Landmine Run. This is suggested by a number of people, and essentially the way this works is as soon as I see the boss room, I have to go in it. So if I haven't been to the item room yet, uh, I can't go to the item room. If I haven't been to the shop, I can't go to the shop. If I have low health, I can't go replenish my health. So this could go really poorly, especially since it's a goddamn shame. The item room is right there, but I can't go to it. Gotta go straight to the boss room. And this is why I picked Judas. I figured the Book of Belial would make him... Uh... Oh, switch bombs or keys with that pill. Um... I figured the Book of Belial would make it so, you know, on the first few levels, I'd at least have some item with which to take out the boss. Even if I don't have uh, any HP, this will probably be an advantage. I thought about going with, uh, with Kane as well, but again, if I don't go to the item room, who knows? Well, that's pretty good. We got uh, one regular heart and two spirit hearts as a result of that bandage, and we'll just go down to the next floor. And this is probably the closest thing that I'm ever going to come to a speedrun, or not ever going to come to a speedrun, but at least for the, the first little while here, until I get even better at the game. Uh, this is going to be the closest to a speedrun, because I'll probably die in about 12 minutes, but, you know, if I don't, then it'll be fast. We've got the lovers here, that's going to give us two more health. Sorry, I should say two hearts to replenish. So really, we're just hoping uh, that we find the item room before we find the boss, and that will give us a little bit of added firepower with which to take out some of these... Uh, some of these enemies, and the boss himself, of course. His or herself, I suppose. I don't know if Larry Jr. is a man or a woman. Or a, a male or a female. I'm pretty sure it is not a human man. So one item that would be really beneficial if I could find it is the compass, because that would show me the locations of all the rooms, and I could avoid or rush to the boss room whenever I wanted to. But hey, looks like it wasn't that important here, because I managed to find the item room before I found the boss room. Unfortunately, I don't have any keys! So there's not a lot I can do about that. Unless a key drops in this room, which would be really fucking useful right now. Tarot card. Magician gives me some homing shots. Again, I really want to find a key before anything else happens. Otherwise, I'm going to end up abandoning the item room, which is really costly now because I don't know how many of these item rooms I'm actually going to get to. Take out those guys. No key. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We'll stick with the lovers. Because you never know when I'm going to need that health. Hmm, 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 hmm. So in terms of my chances for success... Damn, a tinted rock I can't blow up either. In terms of my chances for success, I would classify this probably as one of the, uh, like, mid-tier difficulties in terms of uh, challenge runs. Definitely the hardest ones are, like, don't use any items, don't get hit. But this one is up there as well, because I, you know, might not get any items, and I definitely should try not to get hit. Although I suppose you should always try not to get hit. Uh, it seems a little bit more important this time than it has before. Just because you never know if I'm going to get an HP up right at the very beginning like I did, or never. Which would have been devastating, especially as a character with only one starting HP. So the boss room is probably adjacent to this room. Still no keys and still no bombs. Yep, there's the boss room. So even if a key drops here, it doesn't matter. I can't go... I can't go back. Unless, I, you know, a key drops here... Fight the boss, beat the boss, and then go back to the item room. But I guess we don't have to worry about that, because the key did not drop. So we'll be fighting... What's this guy's name again? Steven, right! So when we defeat Steven... So I use the Book of Belial. When we defeat Steven, uh, we will get little Stevie, which will be a good little offensive upgrade for us, at the very least. But I, I'm kind of hoping and praying for HP upgrades at this point, because those are going to be the most sacred thing of all. Especially with these spirit hearts that I can't replenish. I'm going to be down to two hearts probably pretty soon. Unless, you know, I actually finally accomplish that achievement that I've always wanted to do of not getting hit in the caves. But again, I wouldn't hold out too much hope for that. Caves are a, a rough place to be. We got a little Stevie. We could make a deal with the devil, maybe. One part for a shovel. Or two for a deal with the devil. You know, that shovel deal is tempting. Especially since I called this my quote-unquote speed run for now. But I'm going to play it safe. Pray that I get to some item rooms so that I can get stronger in order to take on the later bosses in the game. Because obviously, like, right now, it's not the well, on the basement anyway. It's not that hard. Oh, I can't get to that key. But as soon as we get into, like, the depths and the womb where I can definitely take a lot of damage uh, on enemies 
and on bosses too, actually. Uh, it's important for me. Oh, there we go. We got a bomb. So I'm going to use the bomb to get the key. It's important for me to get items so that I can actually fight those enemies effectively. I can't rely on the Book of Belial forever. So we got one key. It's more important to have the key than the bomb, just in case I do come across the item room. And you notice I haven't been using the Book of Belial except on bosses. That's because I don't know where the bosses are, so I want to make sure I'm saving the Book of Belial. It could be an unexpected time when I walk into them. Alright, there's the shop. I don't really want that. But I suppose if I had 15 cents right Ah I got I got hung up on the on the pit here. Otherwise I was feeling really good about my dodging. Uh, if I had 15 cents, I would absolutely love to go to the shop right now. Because that would be as good as an item room, possibly. And I you remember I haven't been to an item room yet, we're already on the caves part one. And I'm hoping this this will be the the floor that changes that. I almost got hit by one of those stupid silkworms. That would have been embarrassing. Just take out this little maggot here. Hey, another spirit heart. It's a fantastic drop. I'm getting nervous because we're getting close to one of the. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> we're getting close to one of the terminus termini terminuses of the map, which is usually where you will find an item room or possibly the boss room. And unfortunately, we found the boss room. So the speed run continues unabated. Got these flies, and then the last human popcorn here will explode. Leaving three flies in its wake. And another key. Let's go down here and fight whoever this is. Gertie, okay. Gertie's, Gertie's not so bad. I've dealt with Gertie numerous times before. These nubs are kind of annoying. Oh, come on. Nasty way to take damage there. Stop spawning the nubs, Gertie. Oh, it took damage in exactly the same way. Okay, Gertie, you're really starting to piss me off here. I'm trying to free you from my mom's vaginal prison. And all you... So ungrateful. Just taking pot shots at me all the time. So now I've got Gertie in a pretty good position. Just gonna keep hammering away. Wait, 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 and it should be dead pretty soon. You notice I've resorted to it, because I got in a little bit of trouble for calling Gertie a woman. I did not realize. Hey, HP up. That's pretty useful. We will go down to the next floor. And hopefully come across an item room pretty soon. We're on the caves part two, and it's only been seven minutes. Oh, I can't believe I got out of there without getting hit. Usually, yeah, there's two strategies you can take on this room. One is run in with reckless abandon. And the other one is kind of like, hang back. Hanging back takes forever, so I don't like it as much. Running through with reckless abandon feels a little ballsier to me. Well, this is a, this is a tough room. Uh, but now, it's a tough room at the beginning, but as long as you can get these guys on the same kind of horizontal, then it becomes actually kind of a no-brainer. Ah, so we actually did find an item room. Unbelievable. Please be something good. Hey, ten bombs. That's good enough. So I'll use some of these ten bombs to get to these bombs over here, which there are four. Should be shooting this fire if I want to use, uh, if I want to get keys and stuff. But anyway, we'll go to the shop just because I might as well. I feel at this point, pick up a spirit heart. You never know if I'm going to be able to get to another shop or an item room for the rest of the game, so I might as well use my keys while I've got them. I've still got one saved up that I can use on the next floor. Picked up a spirit heart that could be useful. You never know. So we'll come through here. Oh, we found Gluttony pretty quickly. Gluttony should be really easy to take out, though. Because I'm doing an extraordinary amount of damage to him. And his attacks, by and large, pretty weak, pretty predictable. There we go. Hey, another HP up. Things are going pretty well so far. But. But, but, but. You never know. Who I'm gonna run into it when it comes to these bosses. Oh, there's Larry Jr. Shoot the TNT and he will die pretty much instantly. Unless he's not in the vicinity of the TNT. So stupid. There we go. That Larry Jr. is gonna die. I like how he can lose like his end and still survive. That is evolution at its finest right there. Why aren't you going into my bullets? Blow his head off. Clean off, preferably. There we go. And another bomb. I've said there we go like 15 times over the course of this video already. So actually this is uh, one of the few times I've managed to explore the entire floor 
before I've gotten hit. Or be before I've, I've gotten hit with the boss, I should say. Get another cent. And uh, three more bombs. I will trade two bombs to get three bombs. Fine by me. I guess I should be looking for the secret room. But with no backtracking, I've probably already lost the location of it. Oh. This is a um, potentially tricky room. But not as tricky, like, eight hoppers is not as bad as dealing with, like, three leapers. I'll take the hoppers any day of the week. Let's plant a bomb here just to see if the secret room is indeed here. No? Hmm, yeah, I could have missed the location of it already. It looks like it was probably in the room, just to the left of the room above the item room, if you look at my mini-map right now. Oh, wait, wait, backtracking by accident. I meant to go to the right here. My mistake! Uh, a couple of these guys. These are basically like exactly the same as Gish, except they fire horizontally instead of diagonally. So, oh, back off there. Hard I can't use. Pray that the item room is right here. Unfortunately, not. So we'll just keep moving forward. The boss room should be very, very close to us now. Probably maybe only a couple of rooms away. Why are these guys taking so long to kill? Why won't you die? I'm almost out of spirit hearts. It's a shame considering I actually spent real cold heart pennies on them for the course of this video. The tarot card will be the world, which shows us the secret. Let's use it. Hey! Excellent. So we can see everything now. I will pick up this bomb and this key, just because you never know. Maybe that'll come in handy. Silkworms, I'm not doing nearly enough damage to them. They're taking forever to take out. I could really use some kind of tear effect, like a mom's contact. Maybe a technology to give me piercing shots and laser shots as well. Oh, just be a little bit careful with these guys, because they're going to take a fair amount of damage as well. More than I'm used to, anyway. Seems like Judas is not doing a whole lot of damage right now. But obviously that Book of Belial is essential for these boss fights, so I'm going to continue to save it. And we got... Ah, these guys. Got to get them in a good position for me to be able to circle straight. There we go. These guys don't have as many hit points, I feel. Usually only take about three shots to take out. And of course, with little Steven on my side, that became a little easier. So let's use our bomb here. Oh, you can't... That, that wall of skulls is impenetrable. But we can skip a room if we want to use two bombs. Which, you know, considering I have 13 and only one half spirit heart left, might be a good idea. And I just picked up a bomb anyway. So we'll go into the secret room. Nine cents. Pretty good. I'm gonna use a bomb here. If that door will blow up, or that wall will blow up. It won't! God damn it. I wanted to go directly to the boss room. But I guess we'll have to skip, or we'll have to fight in this room. And this is kind of a tough room. So, would have been definitely uh, in my best interest to skip it. But I guess I'm gonna go into this one raw, just with regular hearts. And a pill, which we'll use right now. Tears down! the exact opposite of what I asked for. We're fighting Chubb. That's fine by me. Chubb seems to be a pretty easy boss, all things considered. We do have some champion silkworms here, though, which is interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. But hey, if the silkworms are going to drop a nickel each, that's fine by me. I'll try to avoid taking damage against Chubb, but remember I do have this Lover's Tarot card. It gives me two hearts. I'm actually a, a fan. I'm fond of this, uh, this challenge run so far. Because it's so fast, even if I fail, like, it's, it's so quick. It's not a slow death like the no shopping one was. Or the, what was the other one? Oh, the ADHD run was fun, too. I'll probably revisit that one in the future. I got some worms. Oh, come on. That one burst out of your womb after you died. Another HP up. That's good. But I still need some kind of tear effect. So depths part one. Only 14 minutes in. Whoa. All right. Oh, dang. Hey! That's not fair. You want to glitch out of the game and then come back and try to kill me? Not on my watch, Buster. Let's try to avoid getting hit by these. Got lucky there. Just continue moving onwards. Kind of a tough room. Yep. I expected to take damage. Maybe not two, but I uh, expected to take some damage there. Absolutely. Probably there was a way to get out of that. But only God knows what it was. Only God and everybody watching this video knows what it was. <clears throat> Sometimes when you're in the when you're in the heat of the moment, it's impossible to tell what you, what's going on. You know? Well, I guess I'm gonna use this lover's card right away. 
Taking an awful lot of damage on the depths compared to what I took on the caves. Remember, I dealt with that. I had was dealing in spirit hearts for a long ass time. I I think I hate the depths more than I hate the womb. Mmm, maybe, maybe not. Because I don't know, you don't seem to get so many leapers in the womb. And leapers are the, they cost me like two hearts if I walk into a room and there's a leaper in it. Just keep continuing towards <clears throat> a terminus here. Oh, stay out of the range if possible. Can uh, I can't hit them? My range isn't high enough, but Stevie's is. Okay, and one more down. Excellent. And we got the world. We can see everything. Oh shit! I was I was going towards the boss room. All right, we'll turn around and go to the item room, and then we'll go fight the boss right away. Of course, we are going for a speedy-ish run here. So we got, oh shit! <laughs> This is a busy room. Let's plant a bomb there. See if that hangs some of them up. Yeah, it exploded like four of them. It's fine by me. Let's get them down to that ooze state where they're easy to take out. If I get them to walk over the spikes, that would be fantastic too. AI seems to be preventing them from doing it. God damn you, Alan Iverson. Tears down. Forgive me. I probably will not want to use that one. What do we got here? Monstro's Tooth. Not nearly as good as the Book of Belial. And in the shop, we have a ladder, a heart, and a bomb. Guess we'll pick up the ladder. Um, again, not the most useful item right now, but you never know when I'll need it. And uh, I guess to save my lover's card, I'll pick up the heart as well. Again, I probably will not get another chance to use the shop. And let's go back to the secret room here. And then we'll go fight the boss. Already. And remember, we're fighting Mom next time. Oh, so we got the unicorn horn. Is this better than the Book of Belial? I don't know, it is pretty damn good. So we'll stick with that. We'll mix it up, because obviously... Book of Belial is a standard Judas item. The Unicorn Horn can allow me to clear out entire rooms. Hey, there's a... Is it rock? Two spirit arts. Thank God I didn't pass that by. Oh, alright, I'm hemmed in here. This would be a good candidate for the Unicorn Horn if I wasn't using it in like two seconds on the boss fight. Oh shit, yeah, I got, I got trapped in this room. Guy's dead. More bombs. What do we got here in the mob trap room? Chest I probably don't need to use. Let's see who we're fighting. Monster 2. Okay. Just continually run into him. Okay, apparently I took some damage. Because the music was still going on, I thought I was still invincible. Eh, I took him down to about half health. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm not sure. The Book of Belial would have been a more long term strategy. But it also might have been better as well. Let's try to get him trapped in this little circuit here. Where we just continually move to his left and right side. Oh, it, he didn't fall for it! He's gotten too smart for me. Anyway. Doing pretty good on health right now. Oh, come on, take out your little bomb flies. Jesus Christ! How was I supposed to avoid that? I can't cope with it! But he's almost dead. I'm out of spirit hearts, though, which is a damn shame. Now he, he's seen through my ruse, and now he will only attack me by jumping, apparently. Oh, except for that now, of course. Yeah, there we go. Like clockwork, back to his old jumping ways. Come on, man. Yeah, that's, that's the attack everybody likes. Yes, okay. Let's do this song and dance again. I, can, I, I know how to handle this one. Don't get behind that rock, because then I can't see you. Yet another HP upgrade. We'll get back to full health. And then head on to the depths part two. Okay, so now without being able to see where we're going, things become tricky again. Especially with all these spikes hanging around. Oh, just, uh, I've never seen a room with this many spikes before. I just walked into that fetus. Gosh darn it. I didn't want to swear, obviously. There's, there's young children around on the screen. Okay, we got the item room first. That was a stroke of luck. Certainly not a stroke of genius, I promise you that. Oh, excellent. Good chain reaction on those guys. And with only one more left, I think we're going to survive pretty well here. Yet another key in case I come across a shop. Mom's... Oh, walked into the fire. Unforgivable. Mom's pill jar. Pill bottle. What do we got here? I got... I, I used the lovers by accident because I was trying to use that pill on the ground. Let's save that up for later. Oh, explosive diarrhea. That's okay. We'll definitely go back to the unicorn horn. 
And leave that heart there. And we're going to be fighting Mom here. So I definitely want to make sure I have the unicorn charged up for that boss fight. God, God. I've already taken one heart worth of damage here. It's a shame. I really wanted to save that lover card for Mom. Again, that sounded totally wrong. But I assure you, it's oh so right. But we can get the heart on this level, because remember, I did shell out for the ladder. Also, there's a tinted rock that I'm definitely going to want to pick up. And hopefully we have a few more rooms before Mom, otherwise I won't have my unicorn charged up. Oh, yet another heart there. So we'll blow up the tinted rock. Two spirit hearts. Fantastic. Gives me a chance in this fight against Mom. So we'll just go up, up, up. She's a right. Guess I might as well get this key back here, just in case. You never know when we'll come across a chest, or even the shop. Could afford to buy something in the shop, maybe a spirit heart or something. Just put a bomb there. I have to take out two of them, that's going to make my life a whole lot easier. Hopefully. These guys are continually a pain in the ass. There we go. Continue upwards. No oh, Jesus. Put one here. Only one. How about this champion? Oh, he turned around! He's a genius! Got one champion with that. And more importantly, actually, opened the layout up at least a little bit. So now I can see what the fuck is going on. And actually maneuver. Roots maneuver. Uh, I, okay, I got lucky there. Should have, by all means, taken some damage. But, you know, sometimes you get lucky like that. Sometimes you don't. This champion, get out of here. Yeah, you can't turn around now, can you, motherfucker? Excellent. Yet another penny that will probably go to, uh... On use. Unicorn Horn is recharged, so I'm ready for this boss fight. If I could ever find the boss room. In 22 minutes, it's gonna be a pretty early boss fight against Mom. And one that where I actually stand, like a small chance of success, maybe? Uh, the Unicorn Horn is not as useful against Mom as the Book of Belial is, just because she's a lot harder to hit with it. Where you get, you're gonna run to one door and just hammer away with it? Or you're gonna run for her foot and just hammer away with it? But anyway. It's going to make it easier to deal with some of the enemies in the room, at the very least. Oh, Jesus. I'm tempted to use my unicorn horn here. That's exactly what I'm going to fucking do. That's fine by me, you know. I would have definitely taken damage in that room otherwise. And hopefully we get a chance to recharge before the boss fight. Got to deal with a few more rooms. God, there's a lot of zombies in here! Oh, I probably should have taken damage there. I'm wasting so many bombs, but I don't use them in combat against almost anything else. Three bombs to take out a room full of zombies, or to help me take out a room full of zombies. Fine by me. Oh, just doing some maneuvering here. And yeah, these guys probably require the most conscious thought of any enemy in the game, except for maybe the leapers. Really gotta focus on what they're doing in order to predict their patterns. So we got Chubb here. Why did I shoot him into me? Let's get him close to those, uh... I'm gonna try to lure him into one of those TNT barrels. And then it'll... Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> well, never mind, that. Come on, Chubb. Go down here. Hey, you're supposed to eat that bomb! There's only four bombs left. I'm getting a little bit... Feeling like I should be a little bit stingier. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, one bomb will speed up this fight a little bit. murder him on, a, oh, on the next possible opportunity. Definitely going to use this magician card against the mom, against mom's boss fight. Just because it's going to make her a lot easier to hit, hopefully. I'm out of spirit hearts, which is a damn shame. And I'm hoping that the boss is not adjacent to this room. Fuck. Because now... Whoa, what, what happened there? Now I have to immediately fight mom and I don't have my unicorn horn ready. That sounded... So perverted. I need to fight mom, but I don't have my unicorn horn ready. Timothy, show me on the doll where mom touched your unicorn horn. Alright, so let's go fight her and see what we're gonna do here. We'll obviously use our uh, homing tears item right away. This will, at the very least, hopefully allow us to take out some of the enemies around us more easily. Uh, walk straight into that. Hammer away at it. Hammer away at it. It's gonna take an awful long time. I'm not sure if you're seeing how much damage I'm doing to that leg every time it comes down, but it's not very much. Gotta 
Get out of here, get out of here! It looks like my tears down. It's such a bad draw. Such a bad, uh... What do they call it in poker? A bad break to get that tears down. Because I really need to fire as fast as I possibly can. In order to do more damage to that foot. I can only get like three shots in every time. The, the fight's going okay so far. Just, oh, I did not take damage there. Come on. Seems to be going alright so far. I'm down to about 30% health. I've taken a fair amount of damage myself, but that's okay. Just gotta continually watch out for that foot shadow. I'm getting much better at seeing that. Remember when I was colorblind before? There's so much shit focusing or going on on the screen, I just couldn't focus on that shadow. But now it's not so bad. I'm acclimated to it, if you will. Got it almost down to half. Almost took damage there. Careful. A lot of these jerk bags on the screen right now. Oh, god damn it, okay. I've taken a lot of stupid hits recently. It's not looking so good. But still, this is kind of a successful run. Seems like I'm saying that a lot. My runs have been borderline successful. Uh, like, I will do okay against mom, or like, beat mom, get to the womb, do okay in the womb. I never actually beat the entire thing. Ah, oh, fucking hand! Here's hoping that changes in the future. Fucking hammer away. Right, there's still a chance. It's gonna have to be pretty goddamn good, though. Oh, now it's gonna have to be really goddamn good. I can't take a hit from anything. But it's still... In the realm of possibility. Just keep fighting the good fight. Come on, come on! Oh god, I didn't even see that one until the last second. And of course, a ton of enemies that actually shoot shit at me. Just what I need right now. Ah, uh, I can't believe it! But I succeeded. Uh, so we'll get Mom's underwear. And hope I don't die on the first room in the womb here. Uh, so I can get my unicorn horn recharged. Oh, that's a tough one. Diglett and I have kind of a history together. Get out of there! Diglett, you fucking bitch! I was so excited! Oh, well, thank you guys for watching. Let's play The Binding of Isaac. Challenge run this time was basically a speed run. Uh, don't... If you see the boss room, you have to go to it. There's no backtracking allowed, essentially. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'm looking forward to more suggestions for challenge runs in the comments. Still having a great time playing this game. Hoping you guys are enjoying watching the episodes. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.